One of the uses of regression analysis is prediction. From our previous videos, we came up with the regression equation of y hat is equal to 25.985 plus 4.6172 times x from a sample of 12 companies showing the richest spending as x and corresponding sales as y, meaning predicted value of sales is equal to 25.985 plus 4.6172 times amount of richest spending. To know how this equation was formulated, you can watch videos fine line of best free by Excel analysis toolpath and scatterplot and also this course method explained by clicking on links in the description below or in the end screen after watching this video. Based on our data, Company 07 has ratio spending of 5 with actual sales of 58. In scatter plot 58 is plotted here as actual sales denoted by y. Using regression equation, we only have predicted value of 49 denoted by y hat. There is a difference of around 9. This is the reason why the point of company 07 is quite distant from the regression line. Company 02 which also have a trichu spending of 5 million has actual sales of 51 million which is close to predicted value of 49 million with relatively smaller difference of only around 2 and that's the reason why it's almost lie in the regression line. If any of these two companies happen to have sales of 49, same with the prediction of 49, meaning there is no errors in prediction, then its point will lie on a regression line. If all the points lie in the regression line, then sales can be predicted 100% accurately. However, in the real business world, that is not the case. Looking at the table, company 09 and company 11 spend the same amount of trade show of 8 million but their actual sales are not the same. In different scenario, company 04 and company 05 have same amount of sales of 29 but company 05 spend more money in trade shows. The standard error of estimate or SEE is used to measure the certainty in predicting accurately the dependent variable y using the regression equation. In simple word, it measures the accuracy of prediction. It is also called standard error of regression. This is the formula for SEE. Let's explain the formula and solve its value at the same time. Y is the actual value minus B0 plus B1 times X comes from the formula of Y hat the predicted value, meaning we are computing the difference between actual values and predicted values of dependent variable which is the regression residual. Adding all the residuals will only result to zero because positive errors will be offset by negative errors. To avoid this, we will square or raise to the second power the error values. The result is 456.6323, the sum of squared error or SSE. SSE was also discussed in video line of best fit by Les Squares Method Explained. The link of that video is in description below or click the end screen after watching this video. The denominator is the degrees of freedom which is n of 12, the number of observations in the sample data minus 2. We use 2 because we have two estimated parameters B0 sample intercept as estimate of beta 0 the population intercept and B1 sample slope coefficient as estimate of beta 1 the population slope coefficient. The denominator n minus 2 is needed to make sure that the computed estimate of SEE standard error of estimate is unbiased. The result is 45.6632. Raised to the power of one half or square root means that SEE measures the standard deviation of regression residuals. The square root is also needed to make the result the same unit with that of the dependent variable y. Square root of 45.6632 is 6.75746, our standard estimate of error. So what does this value mean? 
It means that our prediction using the regression equation from least squares method will have an error of approximately 6.75746 million US dollars of sales. Then which is better, smaller or bigger value of SEE? Smaller standard error of estimate like for example 3 million US dollar, it's much better than 6.76 million SEE, meaning our prediction using the regression equation is closer to actual values prediction is more accurate thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel don't forget to click the notification button and watch the related video on the screen appearing now